Yeah, that like I, I yeah. can join in my system. Yeah, it's time to stop. I'm. You are so geeked out now on something. What? what? Stress. My life is stressed. I I know I messed up. I, what you see of me is remorse for doing something. Doing something I know is stupid. And like I, I want you to listen to me, and I want you to listen well. I will give you but one. Wow opportunity to get off the dope by yourself if i find that you're using whatever it may be i'm going to put you in a rehab facility in the jail i will give you one opportunity to try to get off these demons yourself but if i find that you continue to use i'm going to keep you with me no more dope stop it get some help Court is calling 2022 CR 7879, State of Texas versus Linnea Ray. Could I have parties approach and announce for the record? Catherine Pollard for the state. And are you Linnea Ray? Yes. <laughs> Council, I'm showing you the discovery acknowledgement. Have you received all the discovery in this case and did you review it with your client? I have, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. You understand you're charged with the offense of injury to a child as a third degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counselor, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? I do, Your Honor. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? I do, Your Honor. According to the plea bargain agreement, punishment is to be assessed at four years in the prison. There's a $1,500 fine. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. The state recommends community supervision. Did you understand with that affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition? Yes. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to be designated as primary custodial parent? Yes. Did you understand that to be the entirety of your plea bargain agreement? Yes. Defense? Yes, ma'am. Is that, that the entirety of the plea bargain agreement? Yes, judge. State? Yes, judge. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. The state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of four years. There'll be 150 hours of community service restitution, no harm for injuries, contact with Sky Rain, anger management, and parenting classes. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, ma'am. Then to the offenses charged in the indictment, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State, any evidence? Yes, Judge, we'd offer what's in Marcus State's Exhibit 1. We've reviewed the document, have no objections, Your Honor, other than as modified. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony? Yes, ma'am. The court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of, of testimony and stipulations. The court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments, and we'll go off the record. Excuse me. Why are you at the door? Either you're in or you're out. All right. The court will review states exhibits one and attachments for sufficiency. All right. After reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? We are guilty. Wait, wait. Please, sir. Anything you want to say on behalf of your client? Sure, I would hope that she has completed the anger management within the care which you get her certificate next week. And there is a CPS plan. No, excuse me. Yes. Uh, and there is a CPS plan in effect. Keep in mind that. All right, how old is this child? My daughter just turned five this year. All right, so why would you be hitting your child because she doesn't want to eat? Um, I'm lost control. Um, but you said in the police report I'm reading, you said that you didn't want didn't want her anymore. So I don't understand this. I don't understand someone repeatedly slapping a five year old for not eating. So how do you think that, what do you think that did to her day? I'm sorry? I mean, what did that do to her day? So she's at a restaurant, probably a restaurant that she did not choose to go to. And you're slapping her, according to you, because she won't eat food. 
And then you're pushing the stroller. I'm assuming you're pushing it angrily because then the people and at the restaurant said you told her and told everybody you didn't want her anymore. Your Honor, if I may, this event occurred in the dining area of the Havens Yeah. It was not in there. Well, that's even worse. Because one, you now have a child who stand at Haven for Hope. And I don't think she bought into, hey, let me be born to this mother where I'm placed at Haven for Hope. So where is the child now? Um, my son's um, grandparents. And you say your son's grandparents. What, I mean, how are they related to her? They're not. So now she's with people she doesn't even know who doesn't really have, well, they really don't have a biological connection no, to her. They know how they uh, spend time with her. Yeah. And you don't know how they're treating her though. No, they, they, t they take care of all of my children. Because uh, you're not? No, because they love them as their grandchildren. Even my, my children aren't biologically related. And what is Child Protective Services doing? Um, I agreed to allow her to stay there to so successfully complete my my um, program. Yeah, I'm not going to order. I, I know outside the agreement, it's no harm for injurious contact, but I'm not going to allow you to have contact with her until you go through some type of therapy. It takes a lot for a parent to have birthed a child in the world, right? Or either for a father to have a child to in public in front of everybody hit that child several times and then say, you don't want them anymore. I can't even imagine how she feels with you telling her that. Do you know what that did to her confidence? And do you know how that made her feel? Because on the planet, everybody is hoping that their mom or their dad loves them more than everybody else. Everybody is hoping that as a child, you can always run to your mom for protection. And instead of doing that, you hit her in front of everybody. And guess what? Do you know what embarrassment that probably caused her and what it caused her because she realizes that maybe her mom don't love her. And then you're saying you don't want her anymore. And I'm not trying to be mean to you, but you need to realize what you did and how that affected her. Because now her confidence is probably less than zero. Now she probably thinks her mom doesn't love her. And the embarrassment of it all in front of everybody. And I'm sure there were other children probably there too. And who knows what they probably said to her afterwards. Maybe, ha ha, your mom doesn't love you. So she's already dealing with the fact that she doesn't have a mom who can have her in a home or an apartment, but has her at Haven for Hope. And she's dealing with all of that. And who knows what she's dealing with at school because children can be cruel. And people say children are cruel because they don't know any better. It's because their parents don't teach them any better. So she's at school. And I'm sure they probably know she's staying at Haven for Hope. And then she has all of this other stuff that she's dealing with. And she doesn't have her own little private space where she can go and just decompress. Instead, she's having to deal with you and you're putting your adult problems on her. I am not going to allow her to have contact with this child until she goes through some kind of therapy and the child goes to therapy to see, you know, does she want to be with mom? Does she trust mom to take care of her and not injure her? So that's what I'm doing. So knowing that, do you all still want to continue with the agreement? Mm -hmm. All right. This is what the court is going to do. The court is going to sentence you to um, four years in prison, suspended and probated for six years. There's a $1,500 fine. That will be probated. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. There's to be no contact with minors. There's to be no contact with Sky Ray. And counsel, you can approach after she's completed therapy and after the child has had some therapy, you can always approach and ask me to lift the no contact order. But for now, there's to be no contact. Understand. 
Uh, there's 150 hours of community service restitution. There should be parenting classes with Triple T. Of course, this Child Protective Services is giving her parenting classes. Uh, the court will accept that. I don't want any overlapping of services. So why are you at Haven for Hope? I wonder if I may have one question. Yes. Parenting classes may involve some supervised visitation between her and the child. She will have to. She will have to approach the court, and it's, and when you approach the court on that, the CPS worker needs to be here, and also the child's attorney. Understood. All right. Um, so why were you at Haven for Hope? Um, my, um, I lived in my apartment for seven years. The caseworker that had my file, she quit. So everybody that was on her desk got um, delayed. So my two options was to renew my lease um, for a couple of months and then have a broken lease once my new voucher came in. I only needed to wait 30 days until my new voucher came in. I already did all the paperwork, everything was done. I was just staying at Haven for Hope until my voucher kicked in. I found the apartment within the first week. It was a brand new apartment, a two bedroom. I was just waiting for my voucher to come in. All right. So why are you not working? I get um, SSI. For what? Uh, mental health. I'm going to want field visits, probation. Sorry, it's going to be four times per month, and they need to go into the home and make sure that there are no minors in the home. Oh, I'm sorry, anger management classes. And make sure that's intensive. And she's going to have to do anger management classes other than what she's been given at um, the jail. Uh, probation, is there anything else she needs? All right. Ms. Ray, is there anything else you need from the court? Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Okay. And also because this is an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. All right, good luck to you. We can go off the record. Here's the thing. If you cannot raise your children, if you cannot be patient with them, then you need not raise them. Someone else needs to do that. Do you understand? No more dope.